Hello, it's Howard Rheingold. Stigmergy is the name for the phenomenon that Wikipedia and anthills have in common. I wouldn't have known that if I had not happened on the work of Mark Elliott, who wrote a very interesting PhD thesis about that. I met Mark in Melbourne, and when he was in the San Francisco Bay Area recently, I took the opportunity to interview him in my garden, not only about stigmergy, but about the work he is doing with the city of Melbourne and wiki input from citizens on city planning. So this is Mark Elliott. He's doing a remarkable project in Melbourne, and I will let him describe what that is. Well, um, uh, to my knowledge, it's the largest um, and most extensive use of a wiki-based collaborative environment for city planning. A wiki was developed to uh, draft the entire city plan, um, which we have about 500 registered users um, through public consultation. There was about almost 7,000 people visited the site, um, hundreds of, of uh, meaningful contributions anywhere from pic fixing punctuation uh, and grammar to extending sentences and changing wording to contributing whole new sections to the plan, comments, the works, you name it. Um, not a single instance of vandalism, um, not even any uh, irrelevant content. Uh, pretty extraordinary, really. Um, What's going to end up uh, happening to the city of Melbourne as a result of this process? Uh, that's a very good question. Right now, actually, that's exactly where we are, trying to figure out what role the wiki will play in the future of the plan. It's already putting pressure to shift from a 10-year plan to, say, an annual plan where it's reviewed more regularly because there's no need to, um, to lock away the material in the print-bound um, document because it can be revi revised very quickly and easily with the wiki. Uh, so I have a feeling that's the way it'll go. Um, so yeah, you have to tune in in the next couple of months, I think, to see, really. As an, an added bonus, could you give us the 30-second definition of stigmergy? <laughs> oh boy, okay. Um, the It's it's a, effectively a behavioral mechanism um, where there is feedback between an agent and the environment. The agent encodes the environment in some sort of meaningful or useful way, and then encoding of the environment then feeds back on either that agent or others to affect their behavior, which may result in further modification of the environment. A couple of examples? A um, couple of examples would be graffiti in the human, the human zone, garbage dumping, um, wiki editing, the internet in general, um, uh, biology of course, uh, ant hills, um, and ant hills yep. are the the mines of ant swarms because <laughs> they leave pheromone trails. That's right. Yep, pheromone trails, termites. Um, yeah, exactly, exactly. And those pheromone trails alter the environment, mm. which gives signals to other agents. That's right. Yeah, and you can edit the edit the environment. You can modify the environment either by changing the actual environment or by effectively encoding it with metadata, such as pheromones or HTML, basically. How is Wikipedia like an ant? Um, it, you rock up to Wikipedia and you respond to it as an environment. Uh, maybe you see an edit, maybe you see a, some spelling needs correcting, you see an edit button, you click the edit button, you change it. Maybe you don't, maybe you read it, you follow some links, um, it's like a, a pheromone trail. Um, these, uh, the links also serve to aggregate um, uh, what I call emergent teaming. Um, so um, ants, humans, uh, potentially even unaware of each other's existence, will coalesce around different signals, so different links to, um, to go and fix up the, the local or the, um, the collaborative article of the day, and everybody will cruise off and edit that. that um, that page without even necessarily knowing that you're acting in a group. So that's kind of an interesting phenomenon that happens. What What do you think the benefits of using wikis in things like city planning could be? Um, I think the primary, well there's a couple really. Um, one of the primary benefits being um, that it opens up 
participation to a much larger sort of um, gamut, really. Um, it enables not just meta-level um, commentary on say, public policy or something, but it also allows for the participant to actually demonstrate their their knowledge, their ideas, in context of the actual policy by changing and editing that policy, by creating whole new sections to the policy, um, and also it, it enables mass collaboration. So it enables um, more than a handful of people to come together around creating something um, because it bypasses the social negotiation that's required when you have a, a group that has to work together face to face. What would you say the affordances of an environment are that that enable collaboration in, in ways that other environments would not? Um, the m capacity to work modularly, I think that's the word, modularly, um, to be able to participate in different ways, so it's, there's not a demand to um, just work in one way, so people what can... What they call self-election in yes. open source programs? Yes, exactly, exactly. That's, that's very important. Um, access, of course, um, which seems somewhat trivial, but also is very important, being able to... Um, be accessible to different people on different networks with different browsers. And, um, uh, what else? Um, the capacity to um, add, edit, delete is uh, critical for collaboration to take place. Um, if you have, like in the in the traditional sort of CMS approach to to websites, where you've got a form field that you contribute your element to, and then that gets locked off as a discrete element to other people that reduces the collaborative complexity that can actually take place um, when you when you have the capacity for people to edit what other people have done which can be very contentious of course then you actually have um, um, the recipe for collaboration and collective creation basically do you have any other success stories for the use of collaborative media in civic processes um, probably a um, a great one that took place um, last year, towards the end of last year, um, which some people may have heard of, was the New Zealand um, uh, Police Act that, um, that was um, hell. I think it's uh, late last year, using a wiki to garner um, comments and uh, criticisms of the the Police Act that was generated and they ran it for about a week and they got a lot of press which really fueled some some excellent feedback and they had a couple of hundred participants take place. So. Thank you, Mark.